Tiger Day. This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Towers about to do a reading, a weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. Just remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay? Um, for the ones of you that are interested in a personal reading with me, um, it's in the description box below. My email address is in the description box below. For the month of May, I am going to be running a special 13 minutes, $30, 15 minutes, $15. Okay, so you guys should get in on that while you can. Um, I do try to... to return the, the personal readings to you guys within 24 hours and I still am trying to keep my word on that okay so let's see what spirit has to say to you guys for this Alright, so we have the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Moon card in Reverse. So for some of you, you are standing in your Queen of Cups energy, deciding that whatever situation you all are in, you, you feel like you are not getting what you deserve. For some of you that are in a relationship, you are feeling like it is being strained on you alone. For others of you, you all are about to have your happily ever after, white picket friends, happy husband, children, the works. Hmm. And for some of you, you all are definitely finding out the truth about how someone feels this week. Somebody is definitely going to be offering you a cup of love, maybe a Pisces or a Cancer. Or this could just be you deciding that you are going to be happy all on your own with yourself, choosing yourself, choosing your family, choosing your children maybe. Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Cups for the sign of Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Okay, we have the Tree of Swords in reverse. So some of you did go through a rather hurtful experience in the past. <coughs> Sorry. And you all are finally coming out of that Tree of Swords energy. For some of you, you all are not going to be receiving passionate messages this week. Some of you, even if you do receive passionate messages this week, you are definitely going to be ignoring it. Yeah, because some of you just need some time out to reflect and spend with yourself and to decide if this is what it is you want or not. Ooh. Yeah. Some of you are showing up as the King of Cups. So that means you all will be making a decision based on love. You all will be using your heart. You all will be standing in your power and you will be going towards somebody or somebody will be coming towards you. Because right now you are feeling in a headspace that you are not getting what you give in a relationship. Spirit is saying to you this week that things will change. Yeah, because whoever you are in a relationship with Scorpio, they do not want to be married to you. They do not want any celebration. They do not want a happy home with you. They don't even want a commitment with you. Hmm. So you are throwing up a wall and safeguarding what you do have now and deciding to move forward for yourself. Hmm. King of Swords in reverse, some of you are dealing with a female air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or this person is just not making a decision when it comes to being in a, in a relationship or not. 
<coughs> sorry some of you are finally coming out of this energy where you all are just looking at everything else and looking at all the problems and not looking at what is being offered to you by the universe and that new opportunity could be something that would blow your mind i'm here yeah some of you are definitely having a passionate new beginning this week hmm. probably when you step into your own power scorpio and decide what you want this this passion and new beginning is definitely coming at least it's going to be starting this week yeah hmm. we have the ace of pentacles in reverse so although you may not get a stable offer this week concerning a happy home i would keep optimistic if i were you scorpio yeah, you, you are not, somebody is not going to be offering you anything solid this week or a new beginning or a committed beginning this week. For others of you, you all are definitely getting it. But for others of you, no, it's not going to be happening this week. And it could be somebody coming back from your past for you to offer you. That make, oh, wow. Scorpio, what I'm seeing here is a. Whoever is coming back to you from your past doesn't want anything stable. They just want to be in and out of there and they are going to tell you exactly what you want to hear until you give them what they want and then that's it, they are gone. Sorry to say. But I can only tell you how I feel and what the cards are saying to me. Yeah, for some of you, you all are definitely going to be achieving uh, financial stability this week. For others of you, it's a job. You all are going to be getting a job this week. That's very good. Yeah. See? It's a pentacle. Some of you are definitely going to be getting a job that you have worked your butt off to get. Some of you, it's about a school that you wanted to get into. You will be receiving this week that you have gotten through with that school. For others of you, it's a job that you have been wanting for a while and it is coming towards you this week. That's very good news, Scorpio. Yeah, some of you are finally come out of the Nine of Swords energy where you are staying up at night thinking of probably about a job or financial stability. Hmm, let me get one more card on this. Yeah. For some of you, you're not taking that chance, you're not going out there, you're not putting yourself out there, and nothing new is about to start for you if you don't make that decision. So Scorpio, let me know how this plays out for the people of, for those of you that the situ situations resonate with. Alright, let me know what's happening in the comments below. Do have a good week.